Hello and welcome again to another Android tutorial. This is tutorial number 11. This is how to save a list to a database. Let's go ahead and fire up the activity. And you can see there's our activity. And we've already got some entries in our database. Let's go ahead and add another one. And let's save it. And you can see it gets added into our list view down here. Let's exit our activity and then reload it. And you can see our entries persist. And the way we're doing this persistence is by storing and loading those entries from a database. Now let's examine our tutorial. Our project only has two files. It's got a notehelper.java and a tutorial11.java. That's our main activity. This is our database helper class. And then as far as other assets go, we've got uh, a main.xml and a row.xml for our layouts. Pretty basic stuff. Here's our tutorial11.java. You can see it's got three uh, variables. It's got a node adapter, a node helper, a cursor for our database, and an edit text which contains the text of the note we're adding. Uh, this tutorial uh, uses the custom adapter class, the holder technique, and a custom database helper class, all of which were uh, examined in more detail in previous tutorials, so you may want to look those up. Uh, nonetheless, let's go over the body of the uh, text real quick. You can see the onCreate calls the layout main, pretty standard. Uh, we get our ID of our list, we get our edit note, which is our edit text uh, object. We have our helper, which calls from a database, or uh, creates our database helper class. We call a get all on that helper that gives us our cursor. We manage the cursor. We pass that cursor to our adapter. And then on our list view, we set that adapter. And that's pretty much it. The only other thing we have is our button, listen, on click listener. Now let's scroll down. You can see uh, we've got an on destroy, just calls a super on destroy and helper close. This is to explicitly close our database helper. That's kind of important to have whenever you're working with databases. Uh, we've got our on click listener. This is should be pretty familiar to anyone who's worked on any of the previous tutorials. Uh, it's the same basic button listener that we've used before. Uh, here is our adapter class, and here's our holder that we use that was illustrated, I believe, in tutorial uh, uh, 7 and 8. Now let's go to the helper. The helper class is our SQLite Hopin helper. It's an extension of that. You'll notice that this is much, much simpler than the version we had in uh, tutorial 10. Uh, this is because we're not using a preloaded database. We're actually creating the database the first time we load this activity. Uh, you can see there's just an on create call. We've got the name of the database. We have our SQL uh, query to create the database. And then we've only got three other methods for this helper class. We've got an insert, which is what we use to pass the, uh, to insert additional rows into our database table. Um, this is basically how you have to structure it. You have to pass a CV uh, content value object uh, as a parameter into the insert command. Um, you insert, you have the name of the table, the name of one of the columns in the table, and then your pair of key values that it, uh, is contained in the content values. You have to do it in this way. This is how you structure one of these commands using the content value and the default insert uh, method. The get all, you'll notice, was used uh, in the tutorial 11 um, on create. This is our get all function. This just simply queries the database and returns a cursor that points to the set of results from this query. In this case, we simply want to get all the notes in the database. And then our final method is our get note, which returns uh, the get string of the second column. You'll notice column zero, column one. We, we pass this a cursor and we run the query get string on the cursor for column one. And that's used down here when we are inflating or uh, it, we are populating uh, the list view via our uh, populate from v as part of our note holder class. So that's pretty much it. Uh, this is the most basic way to store a database in a list. You'll notice there's only a single activity. Um, let's load up the XML file here real quick. You'll notice there's only an edit text, a button, and a list view. And then the row 
just came, contains a linear layout and a text view. Um, that's it. I'll put this one up for download. If anyone's got any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, the next tutorial is going to contain an extension on this, um, so you'll want to have a good understanding. Actually, the next several tutorials will uh, be extensions on this one, so you'll want to probably have a good grasp of how this works, and I'll talk to you soon.